in a city that never sleeps, in a world full of desperation. Yet, I'm doing a cringe ass intro for Benzo. Wait, are we supposed to install a plugin? Yeah, 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 I know. I don't know, kind of look cool. We're gonna be installing cop poles for today, guys. Stick around. Shots fired, shots fired. Hey guys, what is up? And welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing great today. Don't ask about the intro, okay? Don't ask. I spent way too long on that intro trying to make it look cool. But man, it came out cringy and I was like, you know what? I'm going to make fun of myself and do an intro like that. We're going to be installing cop holster today, guys. If you do not know what cop holster is, it has more realism to uh, actually just take your gun out of your holster. Now you may think, well, why do I need that? Well, you don't. You don't really need it. It's just for looks and for more, you know, police, you know, gameplay immersion, things like that. Uh, by no means is this game breaking. I've been using it uh, for the last uh, couple of years off and on. But this thing came out in 2015, seven years ago. And the last update was five years ago. But yes, it still works. You just have to manipulate a few files. You'll be surprised how easy this is to get this thing installed. And we're gonna do it in today's video. Let's go. Step number one. Just kidding, just kidding. All right, what we're gonna do is pull up our main game directory. If you are unsure how to get to your main game directory where your GTA 5 is located at, Look to the top right of your video. There is a three minute video on how to find your main game directory for Epic Games, Steam, and Retail. So most of you already know how to do that. We're gonna open up Cop Holster zip file, which the link will be provided down below. And if you look real close, you got a plugins folder inside there. And if you look real close, you got one over here too. What you're gonna do is drag that plugins folder down here where there is a blank space. And you're going to drop and you're going to let it merge and you're done simple as that but there's a couple little tweaks you have to modify in order to get this thing to work so let's go ahead and go into the plugins folder and you're going to see that it is a standalone plugin it should be right where your lspdfr is located at if it is not there then you did not drag and drop properly so go back and rewatch that so there, you got a cop holster dll you got an xml file right there did i say xml yeah xml xml file and it's going to be right there so there's two things you want to know about the cop holster real fast go ahead and open up the xml if you can't open that then that means you probably do not have like an xml what am i trying to say an xml editor on your computer so my advice is to download notepad plus plus it is free on the internet so what you want to do when you first install this is you'll see right here, it says enable cop holster, or I should say enable holster animations. It is set to true. What we're gonna do is set this to false. This is why some of you cannot get your uh, cop holster to work. Set that to false. Come over to here to animate. We're gonna set that to false, just like this. And then that part is done. So what you wanna do next is save that particular file. Over here, save, done. Now what we're gonna do is back out a little bit. We're gonna get to the main game directory. Should look just like this. See that little folder right there called LSPDFR in lower caps? Go into there. See this little config file right there called LSPDFR lower caps? We're gonna go into there and we're gonna look for, I'm gonna go ahead and enlarge this for you and enlarge it for your screen. And you'll see right here, it says disable player holster, uh, holstering actions, uh, disable player holstering actions. Uh, this I do believe comes default whenever you install LSPDFR. Just make sure that says false. Just make sure of that. And then you're going to go ahead and save that. And then there's only two more things that I want to show you about cop holster. Now there's two different ways you can get your game to load this for you, or you can load it in the game. So we're going to take our Rage plugin hook shortcut. It's either inside your main game directory or it is pinned to your taskbar or it is on your desktop. We're going to double click, hold shift key down for about two to three seconds. Here I go, double click, 
holding down shift, get to the rage menu, and it's right down here. Sometimes it'll be at the bottom of your screen. And then make sure your console key you already know that. Uh, you should know that. Plugin timeout threshold, my recommendation is set it to 60,000. Go to plugins, and you'll notice cop holster is not checked. Now you have two decisions to make. Do you want cop holster loaded with the game every time you play, or do you want to load it yourself? So here's the easiest thing to do. You can check this off if you want, and then save and launch, and then it will be loaded with your other plugins, like LSPDFR, for example. But if you're having problems getting into LSPDFR, you could potentially uncheck everything, or say, you know, don't load any plugins to start up. But once you get into the game, you're going to want to load Cop Holster. So once you're inside the game, what you want to do is pull up your Rage console. Default key is F4. And you're going to type in Load Plugin Cop Holster. And it should load it right up. Now, since this is a standalone plugin, you do not have to be on duty whenever you're using Cop Holster. You can actually load into the game you know, with Rage Hook, for example. And even before you get into the police station, you can load the plugin manually like I just showed you. Or if it's already loaded, you know, with Rage Hook at the very beginning, whenever you just saved and launch with the Rage uh, console, the Rage menu rather, then it should already be loaded into the game. So to check this out, there's a cool feature with Cop Holster. There is a intimidation mode with Cop Holster. I think the, uh, the actual animation looks kind of cool if you're at a standstill. If you're walking, it looks a little weird. You look a little stiff. But if you approach a vehicle, you can press your right shift key and it will put your hand on its holster a little bit off to the side. So you already have an intimidation mode set with LSPDFR. If you press your M key on your keyboard, if you go down to actions and then go to intimidate, you already have this feature, but that is the cap lock key. So if you press your cap lock key, uh, it has a kind of a weird, you know, uh, way you're grabbing your gun. It looks almost unnatural. But with cop holster, it looks a little bit more natural. But the only problem with cop holster, the animation of walking with your hand on your weapon, uh, you look like a damn robot. Look at me, I'm a robot. I can't hold my gun very properly. Okay, don't ask me. I'm in a weird mood tonight, okay? I'm recording this video late, okay? It's after midnight, so bear with me. Uh, so hopefully this is working for you. If it did not work, what you want to do is go to Rage Console again uh, with the F4 key. Type in Unload Plugin Cop Holster. And then you guessed it. Load Plugin Cop Holster. And then see if that works. I did notice there's a little bit of a glitch with uh, the Cop Holster every now and then if you change uniforms. So if you change uniforms and you're getting this weird glitch where your holster is empty, yet you're still able to pull out a gun, but you try to reholster it and the holster stays empty. Uh, maybe change uniforms, uh, unload plugin, you know, cop holster, and then load plugin cop holster, and then see if that works. I usually nine times out of 10, it'll work right off the bat. And if for some reason, none of this stuff is working, one other thing you can try is go back to the cop holster XML file that we changed everything to false, change those back to true. And then you could also go into the LSPDFAR folder in lower caps and go to the LSPDFAR config and change ambient disabled player holstering actions equals true. So you could always try doing that as well. I've noticed that it uh, tends to work either way. So you could uh, try doing that. If uh, this is not working for you, then maybe try that method. So anyways, guys, I hope this video helps you in any way, and I'll see you on the next patrol. Stay safe. So cringy. Thank you for watching Benzo's YouTube channel. Be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Benzo uploads often, so stay tuned for the next episode.